Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is so great to have you guys. I also wanted to welcome everyone back. Welcome all of my brand new subscribers and welcome anyone who's randomly coming across this video. It's really great to have you. So for today's video, what I'm going to be doing is something a little bit different than I usually do, but I thought this one was kind of important because I never order bugs online, but I know so many people can't get bugs from their local pet stores like other people can, so they have to order online. So I thought I would review this very highly appraised feeders vendor online and do an unboxing and review. So I did. So today's video is going to be on me doing an unboxing and review on rainbow mealworms and seeing my possible new pet. Stay tuned. <laughs> So all I can really say about this experience right off the bat is it was a roller coaster ride, okay? I will just start with that. So I ordered from Rainbow Mealworms, even though if you guys know me and have seen my OP Tribute video and everything, I don't like mealworms. So mealworms were not bought. Little Nix is running around the floor right now. So I had ordered three things, about 150 or 250 super worms, 50 wax worms, and then I had also ordered another creature because I did not know what it was. I had never heard of it before, and then I saw it on the website. And I researched about this creature a lot. That is Nick scratching on my door. <laughs> yeah. So I did research about this animal and found out that they're really interesting and I really liked everything about them and I was like, I'm willing to try it because they have a live guarantee as well so nothing can go wrong, right? Well, I was wrong in that sense. So this unboxing clip is very short. I was actually just recording this clip just in case anything was dead, but I'm going to go ahead and play it and let you guys see it now. So my first red flag about this order was that the male person was like, I hope they're still alive. Good luck. Lit. And then my poor little critter that I had ordered, what it was, is it was a vinegar rune or a whiptail scorpion. So I thought they were really cool. They look like something out of this world, like a lot of people say. I had the whole setup. I had everything. And they were dead. The super worms came back completely fine. There was none dead in that package. The wax worms, I had about half come back dead. There was 20, okay, so a little under half. There was 21 of them that were dead and nasty and just not okay. So I ended up emailing the team first until I realized that they had a text thing. And then they got back really quickly, very responsive, very polite. They're like, oh, I'm so sorry to hear about that. Would you like us to replace the order or would you like a refund? I was like, okay, let's just replace the feeders. So they ended up replacing it, but they also end up replacing the vinegaroon as well. So now I'm 
I'm sitting here kind of freaking out. I set up my work schedule so that I could be here, so I could pick up the order. And then I started tracking the order and they ended up telling me that it's 30 minutes away from me when I have a place that's right up the street and why isn't it delivered there? So I ended up driving 30 minutes away to go find this place. <laughs> and as soon as I get there, my order is not there. <laughs> it's not there at all. Nobody knows where it is. It was a nightmare. They had live creatures under all of these bins in the front section, under big boxes, under this, under that. And I was like, oh my gosh, this thing is dead. It's dead, it's dead. And come to find out, it was never at that place, even though USPS, the track online tracker says it was. Lit. It wasn't there. So I go home, I text them. And they tell me that they're gonna help me watch it. They still have until Saturday. Come Saturday, never came. Comes today, like two days after that, still hasn't come. So I ended up feeling like the Antichrist, of course, for sending not one, but two poor little creatures to their demise because what, I wanted an animal? But when I texted Rainbow Mealworms and told them about this, uh, I told them that I recorded the video for my channel. I didn't tell them my channel name, but they ended up finding my channel. And then in the text messages, they were not exactly that thrilled. What they said next, I'm not sure if I would consider it bribing me but I'm gonna let you guys decide that thank you so very much question mark question mark question mark what is all what is awful is I can see you are a really sweet person I hope you'll give us a chance again I would really like to be your supplier then they say oops PS would you consider doing a good review and scrap this one in exchange for a shipment of assorted feeders at no cost to you my review is this. So it's a long journey for things to travel. I understand that. I think the wax worms could have been packaged a little better to make them live longer, but again, wax worms, like, they're kind of hard to keep alive that long. But the vinegaroons, I just would not recommend shipping animals, putting them, you know, ordering them online, shipping them across, because like I've seen lots of websites that have mass amounts of exotics just ship all the way across the world. And I think that's completely wrong and not okay and inhumane. So unfortunately I did not get a new pet in that instance, but I did end up going to my local pet store and getting something that is just as cool and also nocturnal as well. So if you stay tuned for next week's video, you can see what my new pet is. So for this week, the lizard lover of the week is Erin has too many books. This individual is a brand new follower, but someone who came in and liked every single one of my Instagram photos. Um, left a comment or two. Oh goodness, girl. So yeah, if you want to be the lizard lover of the week next week, be sure to be active on all of my social media accounts. I have a Facebook, an Instagram, a Twitter, a Snapchat, and I have a Facebook group. So that's all I have from you guys and from my family to yours. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week.